Welcome to the Attack Copter. Um, the instructions on this one are, of course, online, but um, they're a little challenging, so I'm going to do a couple of shortcuts to make this easier for some of the more beginner model builders. So if this isn't exactly like the instructions, you'll have to forgive me. We're going to start with the tail section of the helicopter. First off, I notice that I think there's just a plain mistake in the uh, instructions in that they say we have two pieces of this and we only have one. So I'm going to have to do something for in different than the tail section just to begin with. Near one end, I'm going to cut an angle. Once I do that, then if you were to hang this off the edge of a table, split it down the middle, then come in and give it a small angular cut, trying to aim for about halfway, and you're going to do the, the same on the other side. With any luck, you have a little bit of a point there. Now, later on, we're going to stick a tail fin in here. We want to cut this back, in fact, a little bit further. Let us go on to the body of the helicopter. If we lay this out, normally the body of a helicopter is particularly long. So I'm going to come back here, cut an angle like this. I'm going to stack up a second piece, cut that. From now on, I'll cut everything else together. We want to narrow down the body quite a bit. We want to give an angle to the front of it. We want to give an angle to the back of it. In the instructions, they have more compound shapes in here. I'm going to simplify this, again, for the more basic model maker. First, let's take a little notch out, like they have in the drawing. Okay, we're going to stick our saw, small saw blade in there. Just try to work your way straight in a straight line and then curve to whatever shape you think makes a helicopter look good. Okay, be creative. Choose whatever shape you think looks nice. Next, we want to cut a little piece that's going to go on top. So using just a piece of the cutoff from the last operation, we can cut that section and put a little sloping angle on it just for looks. Now I'm going to assemble this. I'm going to put two nails in here and I'm going to anchor that top piece we just cut. We want to look and figure out the length of our helicopter. I think I want something that's going to be about this size and shape. So, let's move it to the front. Using this as a template, going over the edge of a table, I'm going to use my scrap as my edge of my table. You can see, cut in a little notch and cut in another little notch. Figure out about where you'd like the tail to end, cut in, and then come in here and, well, I'll just do it before this nail, cut that off. Now we have our tail assembly. In following with their drawing, I'm going to go ahead and cut uh, two jet engines now. I think something about this long will look good. I'm going to differ from their drawing in that I'm going to cut this at an angle. Now flip that over, it will be the exact same angle. Put those aside. Let's next cut our rotors. So we're going to need to get four pieces that are all the same thickness. I think the easiest way to do it is to try to get it out of one piece. So I'm going to fold it in half, mark the halfway point, Fold this in half, mark the halfway point, and now let's try to cut as straight a line as possible. Take these two, lay them together, and try to cut that in half. It's very possible that one or two of these may come out looking a little silly. So if that happens, just take them aside. You've got plenty more foam to deal with, and just go ahead, use one, um, one of your earlier ones as a template, and go ahead and cut a new one. We have four blades. Taking a piece of the thin material, about the distance of two blades, maybe even a little bit more. Cut. Use your square. Find the angle here. Cut. So we need to cut a second piece. And then they want us to take notches out of the corner just for aesthetic reasons. So don't worry about this too much. It's just for looks. But try not to cut through because the, the uh, rotor blades will attach using these pieces. So I'm going to use this as though I was cutting off the edge of a table. And I will cut all these pieces. We have two matching pieces. 
take a little bit of um, scrap, make a little piece and put it in the center. Go ahead and start a big nail through it. Okay, and if you're working on scrap, just go ahead and let that go into the scrap and stop before it comes out the other side. Taking your blades one at a time, stick them in, and from the top, add two screws. Take this, lay it aside. Now let's start on the wings and the side and the details on our helicopter. I'm just going to take a piece of scrap. We want to make some side the side wings. So these can really be any shape you want them to be. I'm going to sort of follow what I see in the instruction manual. But feel free to be creative here. These can be long or short, depending on what you want. Just take one little extra piece from the end about as long as that end and cut it off because we need just one little extra chunk for later. Set those aside. With your round piece, go ahead and cut off two pieces. Take one of your three-quarter rods, mark half, cut it, find half, cut it. Let's assemble those wings. Take one of your uh, large diameter pieces with uh, that little spacer we have from before. Put a wing on top of it, add some screws. Take the two smaller rods from the top, add two screws. The medium sized screws going down. Do that again with two more. For a little added stability, I'm going to take one of the longer nails and put it between those and stick it all the way into the large diameter rod. So you can see that it goes between and in. That should hold everything together a little tighter. Now repeat. A little extra touch of my own. Using a piece of the scrap, cut yourself a piece a little longer than the wing. Make two equal sized pieces, add a notch. Let's start thinking about the tail. Grabbing a piece of your thin material, we want to cut a long tail shape. Look up here to figure out what shape you like. Looks kind of nice. Let's go ahead and stick that in that split we made earlier. Now I want to make a piece for the rear tire. So I'm going to cut a little chunk out. Stick it all the way in here. And if these interfere with each other, just cut a little bit off here. Stick everything back together. Let's connect it with some screws. For wheels, instead of cutting up this material, I'm going to use a three-quarter piece and my drill bits and cut two wheels out of that. Go ahead and cut two more while we're here. Assemble these to the rear of the plane, two of them. Make it really close to the tail section. The next thing we want to do is let's attach these pieces that we cut earlier to the side of our helicopter body. Take your wings and attach them from the top. To help attach the tail section, I'm going to cut two long strips. Attach the one here. Attach another one on this side. Bring in your tail piece, slide it in. From the bottom, first add some big screws. You can just bend that foam down, it's pliable. All right, now take these jets that we cut earlier, put them on, I'm gonna put it at that angle there. For the front, I'm gonna do something a little different. Cut yourself a piece about that size. Lay it over the front of the helicopter body. 
And now be creative and say, what do I want that helicopter window to look like? So I just made up this shape, seemed like a good shape. Put it on there, look at it, and if you like it, leave it. I'm gonna trim just a little bit more off the front. Yeah, I like that. While we're at the front, take a piece of the round rod, cut a, a section just a little larger than the nose, and attach it. A little touch of my own. I'm going to put two nails out the front that will make it look like big guns. And finally for the front we need landing gear. Take a piece of material, cut two chunks, just a little bigger than a tire. Screw in the tires that you cut before. Okay, take those tires, push them very push them up just so that the level is just above that of the, the front turret. We want to try to get two screws in here, so put one at the bottom, as close to the bottom as you can. Adjust your angle to wherever you'd like it. Add the second screw. For the final touches, get a propeller. We have to uh, take off the, the last little chunk off, the, off this round rod. Figure out how long you want your propeller blades. Trim them off now. I'm going to cut mine at an angle, just so they look neat. Now save this piece. Use it as a template. Screw through that. And screw into the chopper body. Now at this point, if you want to be accurate and you want to adjust your tail length, go ahead. The chopper blade isn't chopping off its own tail. And then finally, the rear needs a blade too. Rotate. Take a little piece of this for the back side since this is all so thin. And here we have our copter.